I should record this. <laughs> you too. Um, of course. Um, so you still eat some cooked foods on occasions, like birthday. I, I try to eat as raw. And and today is my birthday. Uh, today is Natea's 14th birthday. <laughs> Yay! And your dad told me that you took a flight by yourself. Yeah, first time. I went with my sister in May last year, but this is the first time like alone. So it was it was kind of scary. It was at first, but it it wasn't really. In a way. Where did you fly from? From Seattle. I live in Everett. So. Okay, so you say you are now like. Transitioning and did the uh, yeah like I eat I do the eat free live every day in the morning I just you know take some with like juice or something like my dad likes to do it and he has like these little shot glasses and he puts it in that and I'm just like oh my gosh I can't do that so I just dump it in the juice and drink it wow. like that yeah. easier, so. And uh, so you had some detox symptoms, like some, so some breakouts. Yeah, and kind of like not quite fatigue, but I just felt like you know when you can sense that your body's doing not feeling. Something? Yeah, a little yeah. tired. And I had the same thing. Like I've started two years, and uh, slowly I've been increasing my craft food percentage. And then half a year ago, I, I felt like it came to a point where I could do 100 plus. Yeah, and I'm now close to 100, high carb, low fat, just like exceptions like this that I eat. I feel really amazing. Um, and Fabulous. Oh, it really takes. It does. I, you know, I try to exercise regularly. I lost like 20 pounds. Wow. Yeah, and my skin. I used to have breakouts. Yes, I used to. Like, was it really bad? Well, I didn't have like a huge like acne, like some people have it worse than I do. Okay. But I had um, all the time it used to be like bumps, oh, something God. like yeah, like white and some red bumps, and all all the time, and I nothing like could help um, until I eliminated like flour and cooked and dairy products and meat. That was like the byproducts of those yeah. foods that was coming out of my skin. These like I could I can't tolerate it. Just comes out from my skin, from in my skin immediately. Like if I eat like dairy or Stuff like that. And I didn't know that, so but it's really hard for me because you know at school I get school lunch. And they, the salad that they do have, it's like that disgusting iceberg lettuce. It's so bad for you, and it's like the only thing there that I can really eat. I would bring lunches and everything. Sometimes people like criticize me on it. They're like, "Why is that so green?" And I'm like, you know. It's just, it's, we live in a very weird world where normal foods that grow from the earth and on the trees are discriminated and made like a weird thing, but some foods that are created in laboratory are considered normal. So it's, it's really like... It's, it's, yeah. You think about it like strange. How can you think something that's like man-made rather than like made by God? Like, yes. it's like that all like animals that. eat yeah. things that grow from the earth and yeah. on the trees. We don't have hamburger trees, right? Yeah, so exactly. <laughs> pizza tree. We have to eat something that is naturally made for us. That's not weird at all. Our bodies have like changed so much and it's sad actually. It is to think that and people have so many diseases and uh, it's all
could be easily prevented by foods with a vegetable. So happy birthday again to you. And um, I wish you all the best in your Apple journey. And just keep on doing what you're doing because you're a great example to your classmates too. And you know, no matter what they say about you, you're doing a great thing. Thank you. Thanks. Only getting started.